but let me see if we're live. We are live, right, right, we are live, goodness gracious. It is Inspector, goodness gracious, Jimmy Crusoe here. Now, we have a little remedial business, we'll see, goodness gracious. We, we will begin this evening's performance, we'll see. How's about that? Then? Let me turn this over here. Goodness gracious, how about that? We shall begin with a song this evening, you'll see, because I, I believe, you'll see, I can fly, you see. Now, I believe I can touch, don't touch that, you'll see. You'll end up like that, Janine Maxwell, you'll see. 20 years, yeah. What about the men? Don't talk about them. Goodness gracious, cover up, say nothing. Good evening, Prince Andrew. Good evening, all our new subscribers here at the Secret VOR Club. Some very strange email addresses have been signed up, you see, to the Secret VR Club, including lots of .bbc.co.uk's and bizarrely .police.gov. Very strange. Good evening, all our friends and family, you see, goodness gracious, here at The Voice of Reason. Now, you see, I believe I can fly, you see. I believe I can touch the sky. Now, what happened was today, you see, something very strange poked in, you see, you see, nearly dropped it then. Something strange poked through Monsieur Belfield's cat flat, you see, this evening. And it was a high court writ. Well, it rhymes with writ, and it smells, certainly, of writ. Now, you will see, a lot of legal things going on, but what you don't expect, you see, is a £100,000 claim, you see, from a lady, a lady called... Janet Percival, DC Janet Percival, who filed a claim in March, but only sent it today. Suspicious, you see. Inspector Jimmy Cluser spotted that immediately. Goodness gracious, how's about that then? Now, what happened was, you see, lots of documents came private and confidential. Well, let me tell you, free speech, human rights, public interest, you can fuck off with your private and confidential. There is nothing private and confidential that is ever sent to the inbox of the Monsieur Belfield, you see. Now, Inspector Jimmy Crusoe has been very busy reading the papers. It turns out, you see, that the officer in charge at Mansfield corrupt police station with the shitty custody suite, you see, where they like to make fun and racially abuse people of colour who don't speak very good English, point at their penis, you see, because they're in their pyjamas, haven't done that since Jim will fix it. Now, what we say is that officers uh, filing the rhyme with writ uh, should be very careful, you see, in terms of prejudicing cases and making themselves look like fart heads. Now, let me make this clear to anybody who wants to file a writ against Monsieur Belfield. What we say to the young ladies who mustn't move in here, you'll see, we will not have clattering of pans, you'll see. Goodness gracious, they come here, before you know it, brain damage. Now, what it is, is this young lady, Janet Percival, threatening, you'll see, Monsieur Belfield with a £100,000 writ uh, for defamation, you see. It's terrible, isn't it? She's also obviously signed up here because she's been quoting secret VOR club mentions. And I would like to thank her, because it, if it wasn't for people like young little DC Janet Percival, the dyslexic lad there, I wouldn't be able to fly first class around the fucking world, look. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Goodness gracious. How about that? You see? Now, during a week where we have seen lots of shenanigans, you see, special measures in London at the Met, you see, and we have seen special officers filing writs, rounds with wit. Uh, what it is, you see, today, even little Sadiq Khan said that uh, Steve Bray, who goes outside the Parliament ranting and raving, has every right to do it, even though he's a nuisance, you see? So what it is about free speech, just because you like it, you see? Let me do some maths, you see, for young DC Percival, you see? One word plus one word equals two words. Two words plus two words equals nine words plus... No, that was a totally innocent mistake, you see. Now, let me start again. Right, right, here we go. This one is the green one, right? One word plus one word equals four words plus one word is five. Right, hope that helped. Now, goodness gracious, we will get to the phone in. 
any moment now. I am very busy across the world and across the nation. Now, how big yours, you see? They do tend at Nottingham Police, you see, to have extra long truncheons uh, to get past their noses and also their unfeasibly uh, large man breasts, asked that slapped Martin. Now, goodness gracious, back to why you called. Now, what it is, you see, I will not be intimidated by anybody who wants to threaten me with high court writs. I love a day in court. And for avoidance of doubt, you see, goodness gracious, I stand by every word I've ever fucking said, you see. Now, what it is, is, right, listen here, you can threaten me, you can bully me and intimidate me, but guess what? I'm not going away. In fact, this week, we've gone up another 952 subscribers here at the Secret VOR Club from people who want Monsieur Belfield's content. Now, how's about that then? I have fixed it for you to have free speech, unregulated, uncensored, and unfucking believable. You see? A bit like that, DC Percival. Now, why would you file a court document in March? Hmm? Hmm? Let's do the math. You see? Let's have a look here. Right, right. Are you ready? This one is the blue one. You see? Goodness gracious. Right. January, February, April. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. How's about that? Hang on a minute. Right. January, February, March, right? Filed the papers, sent them in April, May, June. Yeah. I smell bullshit. I also smell, uh, unfortunately, machine. this is terrible, but unfortunately, I'm going to counter sue. I'm going to counter sue for harassment, stalking, beating in my back pattern, right? And being a farted, right? So I shall see you in court, and this message goes to anybody who wants to try and shut up the Belfield, threaten, bully, or intimidate, you'll see, because I will not be bullied by you or your 49-inch truncheon, you'll see, because I am very, very, very experienced, you see, when it comes to taking the strip search, right? Now, at Manchester Police Station, very strange, because the man who looked up my anus erectus for the Semtex when he came for the bomb squad uh, had both his hands, or she, on my shoulders at the time when he stuck a finger up my bottom. Now, what was that? Hey, Tarquin, what was that? Pride month, you see? Pride month. Got no fucking pride left. Right. Hope that helped. Little investigation. Poke through my cat flap. And what we say to all the bullies, the intimidators, the liars, the cheats, and those who make totally innocent mistakes, you can foot right off and stick your writ up your arsehole like a cactus. I thank you. Yeah.